Hello Tabbers, my name is Mark. This is my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. Um, it's white on white, shaped like a little pills. We call it Tic Tac. So, the weather here is getting really, really nasty. Um, so it's time to put Tic Tac away. We just finished a 5,000 mile trip through nine states. I visited all of our relatives. Great time, she held up great but I want to put her to sleep for the winter and um, this is my winterization process. Now most people when they think about winterization they're thinking about blowing the lines out and adding antifreeze. Um, there's a lot more to winterization than just that. A lot more to it and the details make all the difference in the world. So this is not a video about blowing out your water system or adding antifreeze. There are enough videos out there to show you how to do that and I've got one up myself. This process that I use is a blowout method. I don't use antifreeze in my water system because I don't like all of it draining into the ground when I'm done because it may be harmless to us but it does a lot of damage to the ecosystem in the soil, kills the bacteria, I mean it really makes a big mess. I don't like that so I just blow mine out. So, um, we're not going to talk about blowing your, your system out or adding antifreeze or any of that. I'm just going to go through the other things, many things that are required to get your trailer ready for winter. Um, so we're just going to start at the front and we're going to go to the back and we're going to go inside and I'm going to show you everything that I do to get Tic Tac ready to go to sleep. So we start right up in front. My chains are looped up and off the ground. Nothing is on the ground. My seven pin connector is tilted down. So when rain falls here, it drains out. It doesn't get into the end of this. It's protected. This area, all of my coupling inside and outside has been lubricated. Um, so it's ready to go. It won't rust. My brake control line is tied up and out of the way. My propane is turned off. I will fill that tank this winter. Um, we were about 50% full, but I want to go ahead and fill it so it's ready to go next time. And a battery, I'm going to disconnect that battery and take it into my shop and put it on a battery tender. And I don't worry about it. I don't worry about anything out here. My systems are off. They're not connected to power. Um, the electronics is not aging. I don't have to worry about a lightning strike this winter coming in here and destroying anything in my trailer because it's plugged in. Um, it will just be disconnected. So battery's coming out. All my chocks and everything are coiled up neat, stored away in the, in the cabinet. Now, I've done a video on how to store your tires right. You can see that my trailer is jacked up off the ground. So I'm not going to get any flat spots here. I'm not going to get any water. I'm, it's not going to sink in, that kind of thing. I'm not going to have any trouble at all with these tires. That's the preferred method of storage, storing your tires. Now this tire is going to be exposed to some sun. This is my favorite method. This is a 50 gallon trash bag. When I'm done here, I will just pull this trash bag over that wheel. It'll just slip on there just nice. Leave it open at the bottom so it drains. Um, that's a really cheap tire cover. Lasts about a season. Yeah, Works great. At it. Um, this is the plastic bag, trash bag pulled over the wheel. Makes a great cover. 
no big deal. It's open at the bottom, open at the back. Um, um, all my windows are closed. Tic Tac has been washed and waxed. She's all been waxed. I've applied armor all to all the rubber, the tires, all the rubber pieces, the vinyl um, decals, everything has been treated with armor all. That'll protect it from UV light. You can see here that all my electrical, everything on this side, it's kind of dark back there, it's all closed up. Let's go on inside. Everything inside has been taken out. All the cushions have been taken out. They're going into the house. I store them underneath um, our spare bedroom, um, our spare bedroom uh, bed um, slips underneath the mattress. That's so that if I have a mouse situation in here, they won't have the opportunity to chew up any, any cushions. That top cushion, you know that that can't be taken out easily. So I just lifted it at a 45 degree angle. You can see that all my cupboards, all of them, there's nothing in here, no food, no nothing, nothing that will smell anything like food or otherwise. It's all empty. It's all open. Um, windows are closed. There's nothing in there. I've got a fly swatter in there. I've got nothing that will make for mouse bedding. If they get in here, they're not going to find it very hospitable to them. Not many dark places. Like I said, um, my sink and the kitchen area has been completely scrubbed down with water and bleach so that there's no smell at all of any food in here. Mice don't like it. My spices are out. Uh, my cabinets are empty. Everything is empty. I put... The only antifreeze I use is just a little bit in the toilet there to keep that seal good and keep it from freezing. And a little bit in the uh, drain, um, the shower trap, and a little in the sink trap. Just a little, not much at all. Just enough to keep those two areas from freezing. Everything else has been blown out. Up top side, my vent. I crack it just a little bit. That vent has the best screen on it. The, you know, these window screens are not great. A mouse would go right through that. But that's a metal screen so that um, I crack that open. If a mouse needs to get in here, um, he will have to climb all the way up on top of the trailer down in here. Um, and this is the best screen to keep them out. So I crack that open just about an inch, just enough to let a little bit of air flow in here so it doesn't get wet. Um, that's it, gentlemen, um, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you need to do. I keep my windows open so I can see in. Um, my next thing is to put that uh, cover on the tire and pull my battery out, and I'm good to go. Everything else has been done. Oh, before we go, one other thing about the kitchen or the, uh, the refrigerator. It has been cleaned out. I have a little cup of baking soda sitting in the bottom. Um, I put the pin. This pin normally keeps this refrigerator door locked. But with that pin in there like that, you can see it keeps that refrigerator open. So this will be open a little bit. Um, and next uh, next spring when we come in here, this will be nice and clean smelling. Uh, won't be a typical refrigerator icky. Um, as we go, um, all my faucets are on and not hot not cold but warm so it's open my shower are open to the halfway point i can't leave my toilet open but it's it is um my shower head is on the ground and drained and open every one of my valves is open um that way if any water won't collect at the valve thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoy this hope this keeps your uh, trailer a little safe for this winter Talk to you later.